This is a video by News Peter Thomas, China president of a Springer Nature Group, who flew back to Shanghai from Europe in late April, even as the city was under tough COVID restrictions. It illustrates the fantasy of a person who cannot leave his hotel. It's designed in such a way as to make people laugh, to help them through the difficulties associated with COVID. His videos aren't all quite so light-hearted. Others have a more serious tone. He says by doing these videos, he wants to cheer up people. In Shanghai, I have responsibility for more than 100 people working um, here in Shanghai. All of them were in lockdown for quite a while, and I just wanted to be with them and to share my, my um, ideas um, and let them know that we will not let them down. So. Um, it was my first video and I received very, very positive feedback from my colleagues and I want to share it with my relatives. I want to show them um, what your thoughts uh, about um, China and about Shanghai are. And then I did this and um, then I received even more um, positive feedback and I realized that I should do this mainly for my colleagues, but also then for the scientific community and for the um, community um, that we are working with. Um, just to be with them um, and to help them overcome this situation in the um, in the in the lockdown. You you have choice. You have free choice. You can stay in Europe and then not back. But why you make this decision to fly back? I came back knowing that I would be longer in quarantine and in lockdown than usual. Um, because I need to be with the people. I need to be with those colleagues that I um, am um, responsible for, and I want to help them. We send food packages also to our colleagues. Sometimes we even send food packages to um, the parents of our colleagues, because some, some colleagues said, I'm fine, but I know my, 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 my mother and father is, is, is hungry. Um, so we, we, we sent um, these deliveries at a time, now it's much better, but at a time when this was really very difficult to organize individually, then we are organizing like seminars um, or online lectures, how to deal with stress in a, in a lockdown situation. And what's your next business plan? Once the, the restrictions are lifted, once um, the lockdown is over, I think um, all of our plan within our company and within our community is to meet, to go out, to drink coffee, um, to have lunch with colleagues and with authors and to celebrate um, freedom. I think that is the very short term plan that we all have, um, that we enjoy um, again, uh, the life on the street. Um, um, that is that Shanghai is also famous for. But um, I, I think in the in the in the midterm, I can definitely say that our um, our business will continue to grow. It will continue to grow in China. We have no plans um, to go somewhere else. As I said, I believe I truly believe in the collaboration um, of the scientific worlds, of the research worlds, and that is what we um, we want to be where this collaboration happens, and it will happen here in China. Um, and this is why we will also continue to, to grow. We will invest, we will um, hire and invest in talent um, in, in China and continue to support um, Chinese and as much as um, foreign and international um, researchers in communicating um, their, their results to the world.